Hello, Facebook. Isabel says hi to our Facebook friends. Hi, everyone. I'm Isabel. I am this lovely lady right here's granddaughter, and I am so excited to get to do ministry with you today. Oh, yes. It's going to be so good. What are we I teaching on? On hope. Hope. Yes, because so many people get discouraged because they lose hope. And so I want to say, honey, you're not alone. You are not alone. We need hope. Maybe you're watching today and you have desperate need for hope for your situation. Yeah. So let's look at the Bible as an example of desperate hope. Isabel, will you please read in Luke 8 about the woman with the issue of blood? Yes, absolutely. Let's go to Luke 8, 43. And it says, A woman who had had a hemorrhage for 12 years and could not be healed by anyone came up behind him and touched the fringe of his cloak, him is Jesus, and immediately her hemorrhaging stopped. And Jesus said, Who's the one who touched me? And while they were all denying it, Peter said, Master, the people are crowding and pressing in on you. But Jesus said, Someone did touch me. For I was aware that power had gone out of me. When the woman saw that she had not escaped notice, she came trembling and fell down before him and declared in the presence of all the people the reason why she had touched him and how she had been immediately healed. And he said to her, Daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace. This is one of my favorite places in the Bible. Me too. Because I think we all need hope sometimes. Right. And you may be sitting there thinking, I have no hope. I feel hopeless. Do you? Well, you're not alone because Jesus loves hopeless people. He wants and to get he, in. He wants you to have hope. And I believe from this message today, you are going to have hope. And desperate hope. Yes. There are situations the woman couldn't get healing from anywhere else. She had to go to Jesus. Right. And there are people, you can't get your miracle from anywhere else. Where do they have to go? They have to go to Jesus. Amen. And that is wonderful. The best decision you ever made is anything you do with Jesus. Amen. Believe me, I know this over a long period of time. Not that long. Well, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> and I love, too, how because we know her story, we don't have to wait to go to Jesus as a last resort. No. We can go to him right away. Right. 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 And so if there's an impossible situation in your life, if you've run out of options, you can go to Jesus with your hope. You can put your hope in him. Oh, yes. Because he's faithful. He is faithful. When was a time where Jesus showed up in your life in an impossible situation? Well, I remember when I was in high school, I was so concerned because I wasn't making good grades. And, you know, my father said to me, you want to go to college, but, you know, unless you change, you're not going. Right. Because you're not earning it. So that just really poured cold water on me. <laughs> and so I began to make decisions that were worthy of going to school. And I, God bless me with that. Isabel, I've been so blessed with hope. I just think I must be God's pet. <laughs> and you had hope that you were going to go oh. to university. Yes. So you started making good decisions from that place of hope. I did. I think that's so incredible. And I think, too, back <laughs> when I was in high school, I wanted to go on a missions trip. And the Lord told me to go. But my mom and dad said, you know, if God told you to go, he'll provide the money. And I didn't have the money, but I had hope. And so I put my hope in Jesus, and he provided the money. And I went on this mission trip, and it was so powerful. And so if you are losing hope, right, if you're coming to the end of your wire, or you're at the very beginning of a situation, we believe, you and me, and mom, that the Lord is going to give you a refreshing of your hope today. If you have desperate hope, that he's going to refresh and renew your hope. If you're maybe believing that a child, a grandchild, or even you need to get into university, that the Lord is giving you the opportunities and the practical steps to take in order to 
do the next right thing and then the next right thing. Or if you need hope for a financial miracle, the Lord is renewing your hope and you need to go to him first. So Mimi, would you pray right now that every yes. single person watching oh, would have a yes. refreshing of hope? Oh, yes. Father, you see the people who are watching this program and we want them not to be hopeless, but to be full of hope. Amen. God, full of an anointing of hope and of the miraculous. So I pray for everyone watching this to be just anointed with a special anointing of hope and that we don't give up. We just know how to win. And I love that. I know how to win. Amen. If you have a prayer request that we can be joining with you in prayer for, please go to our website, marilynandsarah.org. We love to pray for you, especially if you need a renewing of your hope. Go to the website, leave your prayer request, call our phones, right? Right, exactly. Leave a prayer request. We love you, and we want you to have a renewing of hope. I love doing this, and I love you. It's my privilege, my privilege to minister to you today.